Alright, alright, alright. Mm. Come on today. Well, hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to make an attempt to answer a question by one of my subscribers. The name is the number one Take One Barber. I hope that I didn't butcher your name way too much, and if I did, please, please forgive me. Again, his question is Can you make a tutorial on B structure, effects, and filters, and automation to drop the B in LMMS? Now, this one question has a lot of elements in it, and I'm going to make an attempt to answer at least just one of them at the moment. The one I'm going to try to answer is on B structure. So without further ado, let's get started with this. So the first thing I do is I open up LMMS. And then after LMMS is open up, what you do is you take a look at this area right here. Okay. If you look at this area, it's in minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. Now, what we need to do is we need to change that into bars. So all you do is you click on it, and now it changes it to bar, beat, and tick. And uh, the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the song editor, and this is the song editor right here. All right, and I'm gonna make this song editor bigger. So you click on the square, and it covers the whole entire computer screen. Before I start, uh, I'm gonna explain to you what a bar is. So this right here, it's actually one bar so this is one bar and then to make a beat we make a beat based on those bars the first thing you do is you make an intro now this intro could be eight bars long and it could be 16 bars long it could be six bars long it really doesn't matter it's really up to you uh, how long you want to make that intro In this particular case I'm gonna make mine eight bars I'm not actually making a B I'm just showing you the B structure on here so this one right here is in a bar intro all right then from here you start making the verse so the verse is 16 bars okay now again this is just a general kind of B structure let me write this down 16 bar verse and then from here I go and I make again another 8 bar This is a bar hook or chorus, whatever you want to call it. And then from here on in, what you do is you repeat the 16 bar and the a bar chorus. And you repeat this over and over again until you get to about three and a half minutes. So let's do that right now. All right, so then I'm gonna change this back to minutes. Right now we are at three minutes. Let's do another another 16 bars over here of the verse. And lastly, the hook. Let's find out. We are at three minutes and 39 seconds. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, you know, it's a little bit over, but you get the gist of it. Okay. And right now, if you look at this, we have one, and this is a 16 by verse, one verse, two, three, four, five verses. And then we have 
the intro and we have over here the eight bar hook we have one two three four and this last one right here we could do this as an outro or what I can do is instead of a 16 bar here we'll call this one right here the outro so we could finish the song right here at 3 minutes and 26 seconds the last part of it is the outro and it could be 16 bars so let me write that down outro outro means that it's the end of the song and then you start eliminating uh, certain uh, instruments from that song to make it less uh, and then it could be the chorus being repeated and repeated over and over and over again at the end like they do in a lot of the pop music or it could just be the music along as an outro at the end and then the rapper is just saying you know thank you to this guy or the other guy you know what they normally do in rap or trap um, and that's how you go about building your uh, beat structure or that's how I go about building a beat structure I mean this is not the only way of doing it uh, I've seen people that they just go 16 bar to another 16 bar and they just add or take away different instrument and they just keep on adding it until they have a three and a half minute long beat again it this is really up to you as the creator whatever you think is going to work for you best in a future video I'm going to go a little bit over you know how I go about making this beat structure by actually making the beat itself but I just wanted to give you an idea of a beat structure right now so you understood it a little bit better so if you did please let me know that you like this video and don't forget to hit that button uh, subscribe as well and leave me any comments that you would like uh, on the bottom there okay so thank you thank you very much for watching and have a blessed blessed day all right, all right, all right. <laughs>